fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. There aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen. Stepped into the octagon this time. He wants to leave with that championship belt. Well, as much respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes, there is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. Get there. You've done that. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that problem. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled, he's so dangerous, he's so scary, and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. So he leads with the right hand there, and it was effective for him. Most times he's behind the jab, but sometimes you gotta just mix it up. Push kick there to the body. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl. Piece. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's gonna take that one shot that finishes the fight. kick there to the body. Oh, he didn't like that one. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and lands some big knees from the close. Back and forth we go. Goes upstairs with the kick. Three minutes to go here, round one. Push kick there to the body. Just out of range with that right hook. Lands that beautiful jab. All collar tie. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Good punch, Land. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. 
Two minutes now to go. Just missed with the left there. Lands the low kick. Ooh, head kick left is hurt. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Just missing on the high kick there. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. All right, single collar time now. Fighters separate from the clinch. Under a minute to go. Circling away towards the left now. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Throwing that jab, no good. Can't take many of those, you better check. Time, that hurt sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, take a seat, man. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You gotta think at some point the opposition is gonna lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage to on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Nice front kick. And that left hook landed on the button. Solid kick lands here. Beautiful jab there by the champ. That one appeared to stun him. He got him hurt bad here. <clears throat> Body kick is blocked. <clears throat> Obvious redness on the right side of his body. That's a good strike there by Lee. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, landed that kick to the leg. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Looks like he's dealing with a cut above the eye here. 
big left hook coming. It's blocked. Just unable to quite find that range. Big shots to the head. Nice. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. And that's spinning kick out. It's home on top. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. Nice punch to the head. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. He's nice He's shot to the body there. And there's that jab. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Oh, nice body shot. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together. Tonight, he has landed a ton of significant strikes in. Pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right. And that doesn't happen very often. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, nice, nice hook. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. <laughs> Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Final seconds here of round two. Right. Ten minutes in the books. Stop, stop, stop. All right, that's the end of the round. Clearly a cut sustained there on his forehead, courtesy of that strike. So the cut man will have to close that up and try to prevent it from becoming an issue here as this fight moves forward. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Well, missed on that one. Lee's now switching his stance. It's a nice jab by him there. Body kick now by Lee. All right, well, he made no bones about his game plan. He was going to attack the body, and he does so effectively yet again there. Well, how about the discipline? How about the discipline to stay the course, to not rush, to not go head hunting, knowing that down the line, all these body shots will pay off for him. And now you can see it starting to happen. Oh, beautiful technique for him there on that sidekick. kick. 
Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Ooh. Oh, back and forth to go. Establishing the jab. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, nice kick. Oh, right hook attempt. No good. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. About two minutes here to go in round three. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defense? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing what we've trained? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He's got that jab working, nicely done. Nice defense to block that punch. Big shot lands for both guys. Wow. Less than a minute to go in the round. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Push kick there to the body. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Clean punch. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Fifteen seconds. Back kick there. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, nice. 
Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Sidekick is there. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, rip. Oh! That knee. That knee hurt him. Oh, no. All right, time to go to the gas station. TC, these fighters are cooked, my man. They have thrown everything but the kitchen sink at each other and it's showing because both of them seem exhausted out there in the middle of the afternoon. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are gonna have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. Oh! Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the guy. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess, I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with your food. No. Solid punch there. That right eye's looking pretty swollen. Less than two minutes now to go. Big roundhouse now just misses. Rips the body there. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. Right on the button. Back and forth we go. Big power shot there. Well, I am not going out on a limb when I say he is on the wrong side of this fight. Maybe a little bit rattled after getting knocked down earlier in the round. And that's exactly what you expect, right? He took such a bad knockdown early. It's going to be on him to build back into this fight. That's what we're for. Under a minute to go in round four. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands in another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his strike. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a great job of doing just that. Ooh, nice uppercut from the champ. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Head kick attempt. It's blocked. Ten seconds remaining in round four. Work, guys. Come on. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot, and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Fifth and final round. 
Lee gets caught by that straight punch there. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Just out of range with the straight left hand. That one checked. Hands high, hands high. All right, there's that switch kick, DC. He switches his feet really fast, sees the reaction of his opponent, then he chooses where he's going to land the strike. Danger in that too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Just out of range with that strike. Ball oh, misses with the jab. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Very fast, like he lands for it. All right, doing work with the jab. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we're starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Connects with a beautiful jab. Try to establish that jab. Massive body kick land. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. Level to block the punch there. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Oh, nice jab by Lee. Well, body language is a great aim. Whoa! He's got to try to finish here. Need some work, guys. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut. Making it a good Just misses with the kick. Nice shot there by the champ. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Well, you can see his leg is hurt here, starting to limp a little bit. I think Magomed Ankalaev is the guy we point to for exuding all of that toughness when he absorbed those leg kicks, but don't want to take too many more of those. But like Magomed, you want to try to get takedowns. You cannot be on your feet limping and turning away from strikes. You got to try and change something. Straight right is there. Oh, 
All right, so the title fight goes the distance. I don't want to steal Bruce Buffer's thunder because he doesn't like that, but and new UFC champion of the world you're looking at. Yeah, he's the new champ. No matter how you want to look at it, he did enough to take the belt off the champion. He used his striking, his footwork, his beautiful movement in order to confuse the champion over the course of five rounds. He did enough. It's time to strap the belt around his waist. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC.